Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a digital Christmas gift name tag in Photoshop. Let's get started. So here we have our document and it's 1920 by 1080. So the first thing that we need to do is place our background. So I'm going to go ahead and place my background and this is included in the project files. I want it to cover my entire canvas so I'm going to come up here and lock the ratio of width to height and right click and change the width to pixels and change my width to 1920 to match my document width. Then I'm going to right click my background in the layers palette and rasterize it. And lastly, press C to open the crop tool and simply hit enter a couple times to crop it down to the size of our canvas. Next, I'm going to double click that background to open the layer style dialog. And first I'm going to give it a color overlay. And the color that I'm going to use is a nice Christmas red. The hex code is going to be 821313. Then I'm going to set the opacity to about 90, just so you can see the pattern beneath the color. Next I'll add an inner glow, and I want that set to color burn at 10%. Then I'm going to set the size to 150 pixels and the range to 65%. And that's just going to give us a nice subtle vignette around our background. Then I'll hit OK. Next I'm going to change my foreground color to a light tan. And the hex code for that is going to be FCF9EF. Then I'll come down and choose my rectangle tool and make sure that I have shape selected in the toolbar up here. And I'll click on my document and create a rectangle that's 1400 by 700 pixels. Then I'm going to come over and choose my ellipse tool. Then I'm going to hold Alt and click and start dragging and to make my ellipse a perfect circle I'm going to hold Shift now as well. And I'm going to make that about 35 pixels and let go. And you'll see that it creates a hole in my original rectangle. Next I'm going to come back to my rectangle tool and again click on my canvas. And this time I'm going to make a rectangle that's 25 pixels wide by 700 pixels tall. And using the move tool, I'm going to drag that over and snap it into place right next to my original rectangle. Then I'm going to double click the thumbnail in the layers palette to open the color picker. And I'm going to change that to a nice light green. The hex code for the color that we're going to use is B6D58A. Next we'll create some text labels on our card here. So I'm going to press D to reset the foreground and background colors. And then choose the text tool and create a 2 label. So I'm going to type to my favorite person and I'm going to drag that and place it up here in the top right. Then I'm going to create another label and just make it say from with a colon and move it over here on the left. Now I'm going to change the color of the to and from so I'm going to open the character palette and click on color and I'm going to change that color to 82B348. And before I close that I'm going to select that color and copy it. And then I'm going to use the text tool and highlight just the two of my other label here and change the color and paste that code that we have on the from label to the two as well. Next I'm going to double click one of these text layers in the layers palette to open the layer style dialog. And I'm going to add a bevel and emboss to make it look like it's embossed into my card. So for the style I'm going to choose outer bevel and change the direction to down. Then I'm going to change the size to one pixel and set the direction to 135 degrees. And you want to make sure that you have use global light check. That way any changes or styles we create in the future are going to use these same angles. Then I'll change the height of the angle to 60 degrees. Lastly, I'm going to set the highlight mode to linear dodge and turn the opacity up to 100%. Then I'm going to change the shadow mode to linear burn and change that to 25% and hit OK. So I'm going to hold Alt and click and drag my effects here to my other text layer. That way the same effects are applied to both these layers. Next I'm going to create my From signature. So I'm going to create a new text layer and I'm going to make it say Santa Claus. And you want to use a script font for this. I'm going to resize this here. And the font that I'm going to use is called Harleen. I'm just going to resize this and place it into my document so it fits on my card nicely. Then I'm going to change the color of that to a nice Christmas red. The hex code for this text is going to be A32A28. Now I want this text to stand out just a little bit more so I'm going to double click it in the layers palette and add some styles. First I'm going to give it a bevel and emboss and change the style to outer bevel 
and make sure the direction is set to down. Then I'll change the size to one pixel and the highlight mode to linear dodge at 100% and the shadow mode to linear burn at 25%. Next I'll add an inner shadow to make it look even more three dimensional. So I'm gonna change the blend mode from multiply to linear burn and the opacity to 25% and then I'll set the distance to two pixels and the size to three pixels. So it's a really subtle effect, but it adds to the overall look. Lastly, I'm gonna give it a gradient overlay. And you wanna use a gradient that alternates between light and dark colors. It doesn't really matter what the actual colors are, you just wanna use probably six or seven and make sure they go dark, light, dark, light. Then I'll set the blend mode to overlay and the opacity to 35% and hit okay. And that's gonna make our text kind of look like it's a stamped foil embossed effect. Next, I'm gonna zoom in on the hole up here, and I'm gonna use the pen tool, so I'm gonna press P, and I wanna make sure that I'm using shape up here, but I wanna turn the fill off and set the stroke color to kind of a medium brown. So the hex code for that is gonna be 9D9886. And then I'm gonna set the stroke width from three to three and a half points. Now what we're gonna do with this is make it look like we have some string hanging out of our hole here. So first I'm gonna click here, and then click and drag up at the top, and then lastly click down at the bottom by the hole again, and that's gonna create a little loop. Now I wanna create three separate shapes. So I wanna deselect this layer before I draw anything else. So I'm gonna come over to my layers palette and hold control and click on that layer to deselect it. And then I'll press P to select the pen tool again. And this time I'm gonna draw a string that looks like it's coming out from behind my card. So I'm just gonna click once, and then click and drag up to the top to make a nice curved line. Again, I'm gonna hold Control and click on that layer in the Layers palette to deselect it, and draw another line similar to the first one. Now, you'll wanna come over and choose the Direct Selection tool and move some of these points around. So I can see that my loop is not quite high enough, so I'm gonna click on this point up here and just use my arrows to nudge it up a bit. Next, I'm gonna double click one of these lines in the layers palette and add some styles. I'm gonna add an inner glow, and I want it set to linear burn at 35%. And I'm gonna set the size to just two pixels. And you can see that's gonna add a really subtle inner glow to those lines. And that's just gonna help it look a little more three-dimensional. Then I'll hit okay. Again, I'm gonna hold alt and drag those effects onto the other line shapes. Then I can click and move some of the points to finalize their positions. Once that's done, I can zoom back out. Now I'm gonna hold Alt and click this arrow here to minimize all of my effects. And then I'm gonna create a new layer group and name that card. And I'm gonna select everything except my background and move it into that layer group. Then I'm gonna select that layer group and click on one of these handles. And up here in my toolbar, I'm gonna to rotate it negative five degrees. And to finalize that rotation, I'll just hit enter twice. Now I'm gonna add some layer styles that are gonna affect everything in this group. So I'm gonna double click the layer group and apply some styles to that. First, I'm gonna give it a bevel and emboss using inner bevel. And I'm gonna set the size to zero pixels. Even though it's set to zero, it's still gonna add a really subtle effect to my card. So I'm gonna set the highlight mode to linear dodge at 30% and the shadow mode to linear burn at 30% as well. Next, I'm gonna add an inner glow and set the blend mode to color burn. Then I'll change the opacity to just 15%, the size to 150 pixels and the range to 75%. And that's gonna give us a really subtle vignette on my card. Next, I'm gonna add a gradient overlay and I'm gonna use the standard black to white gradient but I'm gonna change the blend mode to overlay, set the opacity to 15%, and set the scale to 35%. Then I'm gonna change the angle to about 120 degrees, and that's gonna give us sort of a lighting effect where the top left of the card is lighter than the bottom right. Next, I'm gonna add a pattern overlay, and I'm coming to my pattern picker here, and I previously downloaded this paper pattern from subtlepatterns.com, and you'll find this pattern in the project files. So I'm gonna apply that pattern. Then I'll change the blend mode to linear burn and the opacity to about 
and that's going to make our card look a little more realistic. Lastly, I'm going to give it a drop shadow, and I want the blend mode set to linear burn and the color set to black. Then I'm going to change the opacity to just 7%, the distance to 6 pixels, and the size to 2 pixels. And that's it for our style, so I'm going to hit OK. So if I turn those effects off and back on, you can see that it adds some lighting effects and realism to our card. I'm going to click this arrow to minimize our card, and then this arrow to minimize our effects to make our layers palette more manageable. Now I'll create another rectangle, so I'm going to choose my rectangle tool, and back up at the top, I want to remove the stroke color and change my fill color back to the foreground color. And then I'll click on my document, and I want this rectangle to be 1920 by about 250. And then I'll move it into place and snap it to the bottom of my document here. And using the pen tool, I'm going to click on the center of my rectangle on the top edge to add another point. And then I'm going to hold shift and press the down arrow once to move that point down 10 pixels. And that's going to give us a subtle curve on the top edge of our rectangle. I'm going to change the color of that rectangle to a green. And the hex code for that is going to be 85B14D. This is going to act like a ribbon, but before we add any layer styles, we need to create the pattern that we're going to use. So I'm going to press Ctrl N to create a new document, and it's just going to be 4 pixels wide and 1 pixel tall. So I'm going to zoom way in on this, and I'm going to come over here and choose the pencil tool. And using black, I'm going to paint these left two pixels black and leave the right two white. Then I'm going to come up and choose Edit, Define Pattern, and give it the name Stripes and hit OK. Then I'm just going to close this document since we're not going to need it anymore. Now that we've made our pattern, I'm going to double click that rectangle in the Layers palette and add our layer style. So first we're going to add a bevel and emboss. And we want the style set to inner bevel and the size set to 1 pixels. Then I'm going to change the highlight mode to linear dodge and the opacity for that to 35%. And I want the shadow mode set to linear burn at 35% as well. Next I'm going to add an inner glow. And using the color black, I'm going to set the blend mode to color burn, the opacity to 15%, the size to 150 pixels, and the range to 75%. Next I'll add a gradient overlay, and I'm going to use the standard black to white gradient, but I'm going to change the blend mode to overlay, Set the opacity to just 3% and the scale to 35%. Next I'll add a pattern overlay, and in my pattern picker I'm going to choose the pattern that we just created. Then I'll change the blend mode to overlay, and the opacity to 15%. And that's just going to give us some small vertical stripes. And that's it for our style, so I'm going to hit OK. Next we're going to create some text to go on our ribbon. So I'm going to press X to swap my background and foreground colors and press T to select my text tool and create some text that says Merry Christmas. I'm going to change the font that we're using to a font called Chunk 5 which is free and you can find it by searching for it on Google. Then I'll just resize it to fit my ribbon a little bit better and move it into place. I'll double click that text and add some layer styles. First I'm going to give it a bevel and emboss and set the style to outer bevel and the direction to down. Then I'll set the size to just one pixel, and I'll change the highlight mode to linear dodge at 45%, and the shadow mode to linear burn at 35%. Next I'll give it an inner shadow, and for that I want it set to linear burn at 35%, the distance at one pixel and the size at two pixels, and lastly I'll give it a gradient overlay with the standard black to white gradient, and then I'll set the blend mode to linear burn and the opacity to 9% and hit OK. Next I'm going to create a shadow that goes behind our ribbon. So using black I'm going to select my ellipse tool and click on my document and make an ellipse that's 1920 by 50 pixels. I'm going to move that so it's centered in my document and aligned with the top of my green ribbon here and then I'm going to right click it and convert that to a smart object. Next I'm going to come up and click Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and give it a blur of 5 pixels and hit OK. Then I'm going to move that down in my Layers palette so it's just beneath my green ribbon, and set the Blend Mode in my Layers palette to Linear Burn and the Fill to 
Then I'm going to use my arrows and just nudge that down until it's just peeking over the top of my ribbon to create a subtle shadow. I'm going to minimize all this stuff in my layers palette. And lastly, I'm going to create a curves adjustment layer. So I'm going to click on the middle of my curve and move it right and down just a little bit to darken my whole image. And then in the layer mask for my curves adjustment, I'm going to come over and select my brush tool. And using a large soft brush, I'm going to paint black in the middle of my mask. And that's going to make my curves adjustment only affect the very edges of my image. So after I paint that mask, if I adjust my curves, you can see that it affects only the outside edges. And that's pretty much it. A design like this is perfect to send along to friends and family with something like a digital gift card, or just to wish people a Merry Christmas on Facebook or via email. I'm John Shaver for Photoshop Video Academy. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.